very, very silly, but it kind of made me laugh. Um, I did it a while ago in my book, and it was one of these ones where I was like, oh, shall I do it, shall I do it? And, well, it's, um, yeah, you kind of, I don't know, when you're doing stuff like this, you're, you're kind of putting yourself out there a bit, and um, you always think, oh gosh, will people think I'm a, I'm an idiot? And you think, oh, for heaven's sake, I, I think what you got to do is just do what you think is funny, and if people don't like it, they don't like it, and, and you know, that's that really. Um, not a lot you can say about it. Uh, you've just got to be honest, I guess. So, oops, with yourself. Uh, and, I mean, that's the thing about being an artist as well, is you've got to take criticism. And it's hard, it's hard. I remember um, I was doing this job and they turned around and uh, they said, no, we don't want it like that, we want it like this. And I've been doing it like one way for a long time and they wanted to go in another direction. And uh, it broke my little heart. I actually felt, you know, like someone had died or something. Um, but you've got to get over it and just get on with it. But uh, it's very hard sometimes. Ah, oh dear. I mean, it's not like being a policeman or anything. <laughs> you know. But, it's on an emotional level. I think you are, um, you are your work. It, it is you, you know, it defines you. Um, so yeah, it's, um, if anyone took it away from me, I think I'd die. You know, it's one of those. I'm very lucky, I think. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, anyone can do it. And it doesn't matter if you're good, bad, or indifferent. Um, well, if you're indifferent, don't do it. But um, I think it's good for you. Drawing is good for you. They were talking about these people that um, had trauma in their lives and um, especially you know someone who'd seen traumatic traumatic things and um, you know like an accident or something and some horrible event that they couldn't quite they couldn't shake it they couldn't verbalize it it's almost I mean our language good as it is it can't quite describe the universe you know it's not good enough not adequate and what's going we're just like a bunch of chemicals and what have you um, so it's hard to describe things so to, to do an abstraction of how you feel is a good way of dealing with trauma and they were getting these, um, I think it was war veterans uh, to make masks of what was troubling them and to personify it in a mask kind of help them get rid of it um, and that's art isn't it, I mean it's just art so you look at those cave paintings there's this beautiful stone that someone found and it had a bit of slate or something. I can't remember what it was. But someone had sketched a horse. It's beautiful. And whoever that person was, probably all our ancestors, maybe Europe, at least European, um, we're all related to that man or woman. Incredible to think that really, isn't it? Unless they didn't have children, but <laughs> yeah, that's our great 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 by three, whatever grandfather, mother. It's all it is, it's in us, 
you just got to release it, I think. Even if it's crap, I think it will do good. And that's why you need more art in schools, not less. Because it's our soul, you know? It's expressing your soul. You can't do that with maths. You know, you can't do that. You can with English, but you know, kids don't. It's primal. Art came before like the written word. It just did. And that's how they used to entertain themselves. There's um, there's these uh, pictographs, you know, these drawings in um, in these caves, and they were looking at them, and they realised they animated. So where you put your torch moved. So what they used to do, they think, was actually go in and tell stories and where they put the torch made the creature move. Animation. You know, 30,000 years ago. I mean, that's just mind-blowing. And you deny kids that, then, you, you know, maybe that's why we're getting so many problems with children today. Is because they're not venting their soul. So there. Anyway, <laughs> didn't expect to let that come out. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, art is important, very important, and um, that's the problem. Is you can't quantify it. Whereas, you know, with, um, like, you know, exams and things and maths and all that sort of, which is, you know, obviously you need that, you know, but you can quantify that. It's empiric. But it's just these little things that change. It's like, um, oh, what do they call it? Minor gains, is it? with an athlete they just do something slightly different and it increases their action and it's enough for them to win and doing things will change society just positive things and I think you know art encouraging art in the young getting them to express themselves oh dear pardon me I've just eaten too much uh, will make the world a better place, it just will. <sighs> so there, right. So, we have this cow and he's, it's night time. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny, sorry. Sometimes I just laugh at myself and I think what, are you doing it's good to, don't take yourself too seriously I'll tell you what if I say that I think you've got to take you've got to take art seriously and life oh dear anyway, God, what sort of mood am I in it's been it's been a terrible week well no it hasn't Oh, I've got a new patron today. Five dollars, uh, which is fantastic. So, if you want to um, back me on Patreon, go ahead. That's really lovely. Thank you very much. Um, I've got a Patreon where, if you, I think it's twenty dollars, you get a uh, credit. On my next comic which will be Robonaut, Robonauts 2 um, and a digital poster I think is um, and I think it's 10 oh well no don't do that I think it's ten dollars is uh, a mention in my next comic I think 
and I think $20 you get uh, a digital poster I'll send you uh, signed $30 is a um, I will each month send you a cow cartoon hand drawn on a postcard so it's all very good and also you get to I do um, or loads and loads and loads of cartoons there's 400 up now over 400 and I put three up every day except for like Christmas and my birthday <laughs> or when I'm on holiday I might not do it then um, right so this is a very silly joke okay very 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 silly okay so well I'm just silly okay so just cut that out so uh, yeah I don't want to say too much hope you're all well hope you're having a nice weekend uh, we're, we're, we're pretending it's my wife's birthday today her birthday is on the 14th of February which obviously is Valentine's Day. It's really an annoying birthday. I blame the parents. <laughs> and all the kids are home. So we've, we've just uh, done the happy birthday thing with the cake. And now we're gonna settle down. So I'm just doing this quickly. My son's going to work. And uh, I thought I'd do a quick World of Cow joke for you. Before I sit down and have a glass of wine with my wife. Uh, so yeah, he's. I, I just want to put a slight shadow on him. Her. It's a her. It's a her. It's a cow. It's a her. Just to make it look a bit more night timey wimey. I wonder who the next Doctor Who's going to be. Hopefully, I reckon it should be a woman. Let me know what you think, but I think it should be a woman. Do, 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 do. Right. So. Oh. Hang on a sec. I'm just going to save it, actually. I keep telling people. Make sure you keep saving it. What's it? 14. 2017. Okay. I. Oh. Get it? It's a cat. It's a cow and a bat. It's a cat. I thought that was funny. I don't know. Anyway. That's it. That's my joke. Um, oh, I'll tell you what I'll do, actually. There goes the dog. Um, I'll just do a little flappy, flappy motion. Flappy, wappy. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll put a little hair leg in. It's nice, isn't it? So, it's a cat. Oh, and I'll just sign it. I'll sign that later. All right, guys. Uh, Thanks for watching, thanks for your support. And um, yeah, catch uh, me on Patreon. Just stick tunes, check it out. And um, yeah, buy my comic if you like. <laughs> That's a five pounds uh, UK Etsy. Look for stick tunes and it's there. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Bill Greenhead. Um, Twitter is stick tunes as well. So just check me out and uh, follow me on YouTube. Yeah, do everything. All right, I'll speak to you later. Cheers, in. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.